now we're going to look at battery prep. Uh, there's actually a lot of prep that goes into the batteries before we even begin to tackle soldering. So let's go over that. I'm going to switch to my overhead view here. So you can see this is one of the cells, and I've already prepped the rest of them, but I wanted to show you guys this one. Uh, these particular cells, um, I don't, I don't know why I ordered these. When you when you buy these from Only Battery Packs, you can buy them with or without tabs. I think tabs adds if you get the if you order them with tabs, I think it adds ten cents to the price of the battery. Um, <clears throat> the tabs are actually nice for. Uh, if you're making your own battery packs, like a stick pack, let's see, where's my stick pack at? Well, I had a stick pack around here somewhere that I made. But at any rate, if you're going to be making stick packs that like go end to end like this, uh, they're kind of nice because instead instead of uh, trying to solder you know the battery directly to the battery you can bend the tabs and you solder you know you pre tin the tabs on both batteries you solder the batteries together and then you just kind of fold them down on top of each other like that until they're as flat as you can get them however these for for what we're going to be doing repacking this battery pack right here uh, the tabs are actually the tabs are actually going to get in our way because we're going to have tabs running at odd angles and stuff. They're not going to be nice and straight. And it's you really can't put the battery pack together properly with these tabs on there. So you can, in order to remove the tabs, you can do one of two things. You can take your wire cutters and either just cut the tab. Um, what I find easiest though is just to take it and bend it as far back is it'll go all the way back to all this thing all the way back to where it's um, where it's welded on there and then just fold it over and then back and just a couple times quickly I'm sure you've all done stuff like that before and then it just comes right off now there is going to be a rough edge here that's going to be that's going to be curled up the, the rough edge here is going to be curled up so what you want to do is you want to actually take a screwdriver or something flat and kind of run it across there and smooth that that little crease just anything hard and flat so you can smooth that tab down to where it's not sticking up anymore on the on the edge I don't know if you guys can see this there so now there's no more edge on that one and then we're just going to do the same thing for the for the other side and let's see if you guys can see it here if you can see this one end you can see, you can see how it's got a sharp raised edge right here so that's what I was talking about smoothing out with the, the screwdriver or whatever else you got that's hard and flat and can kind of smooth it out now after you get your tabs removed assuming that you have tabs on the batteries um, preferably if I'd, have thought, if I'd have thought about what I was doing I wouldn't have ordered these tabs but uh, for some reason, it didn't. It didn't really dawn on me. I normally order them with the tabs because normally, if I make a battery pack, it's something where I was saying earlier, where you stick them end to end, and the battery tabs are nice because then you don't have to solder directly to the battery. At any rate, uh, once you get the tabs removed and smoothed out, we're going to want to rough up the surface a little bit to so it, you know so it holds the solder better. So we're going to take a piece of uh, 180 grit sandpaper, and we're just going to. We're just going to scuff up the uh, on the negative side where it's nice and wide and flat. We're going to we want to scuff up that whole surface there, just like that. Just like that. 
And then on the positive side, um, at least with these particular batteries, the tab pretty much covers the entire top of the, uh, the positive post. So we're going to be soldering directly to the top of this tab, the part that's still welded onto the battery. So we want to make sure we scuff up that whole tab real good. Now, I've already done the rest of these batteries here. So now what we got to do is we need to form them together in the shape and directions that they're going to go in when they're going to be finalized and when they're going to be done. And uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Set these aside for a moment. We're going to bring in the uh, the battery pack that we're going to be redoing. I've actually already unscrewed the four screws that hold this together, just to save time. So I'm going to remove these screws. And we'll set them aside here. And then we're going to lift off the top of this battery pack. Now there are going to be, as you can see down in here. There are going to be some wires that are attached to the battery pack. So you, you want to be careful. Um, well, in this particular case, we're going to be replacing those wires too because the quality of wire they use in there isn't the best. Um, one other tip though before I get ahead of myself. Um, before you actually remove anything, take a multimeter and figure out like you as you can see there, there's four tabs in here and to be honest I'm not sure why there are four metal tabs in here because the two on the sides are not connected to anything so I have no clue what that's for um, the one in the front and the back are and you want to figure out which ones are positive and which ones are negative and mark it on the, the outside of the case because we're actually going to be taking these out at one point so I marked positive there, negative on the other side. Now we're just going to take the whole thing apart. And your little buttons on the side are most likely going to come out. Or at least the ones on the Ryobis do. That's fine. They're easy to put back in. It's actually good to take them out anyway because it gives you something to grab onto at this point to pull. And the battery's just sitting there. They're not glued or anything like that, at least not in these packs. So it's easy to remove. And then this is essentially what you're left with. Now this part, this part right here, at least in the Ryobi pack, is not glued or held into place uh, at all either. So we're just going to pull this, we're just going to wiggle that loose and take it right out of the this piece so we can set the actual plastic pieces aside. And now we just basically have the battery pack and the wires that are attached to it. Now, one thing that's important to note, like on this battery pack, these uh, the where the the tabs that come off of the battery that the wires that these wires are uh, actually soldered to well it looks like they actually put a uh, they, they actually put a um, I forget what you call those pieces now they actually had a connector there but then they also soldered it on top of that and at any rate these are on the bottom side of the pack so let me switch views here so you guys can see this this is basically the way that the pack was sitting in the case. So we want to make sure we duplicate this uh, with a couple of tabs. We're going to have a couple of tabs coming off the bottom and then that are going to get bent up that we're going to solder our wires to. Because if you don't, uh, if you don't make sure you do it just exactly the way it came out, uh, a lot of times you'll have a hard time of making it fit back in. The very first one that I ever repacked for some reason I thought the connectors were on the top uh, and when I went to put it all back together I had a very hard time getting the wires to go 
down in there properly that that didn't get in the way of the screw holes and stuff. So we want to make sure we we do that right next time. So anyway, I'm going to set this particular one aside for the time being, and I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to switch views on you again. Um, let me zoom in here. So this is this is basically the other pack that I've already done at this point, uh, or the first pack that I, I've done at this point. I had a few, um, and we're going to use this as a model to to tell how to put our battery, you know, assemble our battery cells together, just like this one. And uh, yeah, there's some sticky crap on the top of this. It's from the insulation, like if you notice on this one, now it's got this, it's got, a, it actually has a, this insulation stuff on it that had a sticky back. Uh, that one's already coming off, but at any rate, we're going to use this as our model to follow, essentially. So, before, okay, so now that we got all the tabs cut off and we've got the, the surface is sanded down, uh, before we start actually soldering stuff together, we need to assemble the battery pack in the ultimate shape that it's going to stay in, uh, which is going to be an exact replica of this. So, looking at this one here, we can tell the negative side's up on this one, the positive side is up in the middle one, and the negative side is up on the last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little bit of shugu. Um, you can also use, uh, really you can use just about anything that holds, that'll hold them together. Shugu or um, there's also, I think it's Walmart, uh, sells stuff called Amazing Goop. It's basically the same thing as shugu. Uh, are probably your two best bets because A, they're very tacky to begin with but they but it, and they set up in a reasonable amount of time but it's not like an instant bond thing um, so it does give you time to get it you know to get the entire pack assembled and set it aside somewhere for a couple hours to dry before you actually start soldering on it uh, which is fine because we also have to prep all the tabs so usually by the time, and my experience so far has been by the time I'm done prepping the tabs, usually the glue is dry enough to hold the pack together so we can start soldering on it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get some of this out. And I'm just going to basically follow the model. So we, wanna, we want one with a negative end sticking out, then followed by a positive end, followed by a negative end. So that's, that's what we want for this row right here. So I'm just going to take this and start, put a generous helping of it on here. And then I'm going to stick these two cells together. <clears throat> and you're generally going to want to try to get it as close as possible to start with. But eventually we're going to set them upright so we can make sure they're all level. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this one on. And the other good thing about Shugu too is the fact that if you if you uh, if you mess up even after it's completely 100% dried and set, uh, you can still remove the glue uh, you can you, I mean you can still separate the cells um, and and then the glue is kind of hard to get off but it's it's sort of a rubberized material after it dries so it can be it can be the cells can be separated the glue can be removed and it can be re-glued it's not the easiest stuff to get apart but it is it's not like JB weld or something where once you glue it it's going to be that way permanently. It's not like that. So, uh, At any rate, uh, so you, essentially you're going you're gonna to build up the whole pack, and I've actually already got 
another one done, so I'm not going to sit here and do every one of these. This one, okay, this one's already done. This one's all glued together. Now I'm still waiting for this to dry, and you, as you can see, I messed up right here on this one side, but I was able to just wipe most of it off. So we're going to wait for, we're going to give it just a little more time to, to cure, because it's not, it's not 100% cured yet. And I'm going to go ahead and finish constructing this pack, uh, and then I will be back in a minute to show you guys how I, uh, you know, basically what I do with the, uh, how I prep the, the battery bars while I'm waiting for the glue to dry. So I'll be back in a few.